This is Emily Young visiting a hot spring. Hi, I'm here with Lori, and today Lori is going to teach me about hot springs. Hi, Lori. Hi, Emily. Nice to meet you. This is Emily Young. She'll score a goal, play pretend, make a bunch of brand new friends. Learning, laughing, sharing, smiling. We'll have lots of fun with Emily Young. Welcome to the Cave and Basin National Historic Site in Banff, Alberta. What is that smell? I think it smells like rotten eggs. Yeah, it does smell like rotten eggs. That is the smell of the earth burning. Ew. Yeah. You should say, excuse me, mister. <laughs> way, way down deep in the earth, water trickles down through cracks in the rocks, and then it gets really warm way, way down there, about two kilometers down. And then the water mixes up with some rock, mixes up with some bacteria. And then, then it makes some bubbles. Yeah. Those bubbles over there are coming from the middle of the earth. I wouldn't say quite right at the middle, but about two kilometers down. You know how far two kilometers is? It would take you about an hour to walk that far. Oh. Yeah. So if you walked all the way down there, you'd get to the bottom of where that water is coming from, and then it comes back up through cracks in the earth. And you go like pew. Yeah. Well, it comes, comes up, not pew here, but it comes up bloop, 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 with lots of gas. That's why it's like the earth farting. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the smell is. How warm is the water? The water's kind of like a nice warm bathtub temperature. People used to really love to swim in this water but we don't touch it anymore in this place. Why don't you touch it? Well, because we have a very spe special little resident that lives here. Tiny, tiny little snail. And that's the shell of one of these tiny little snails. This is a big tank for small snails. Yeah, well, this is a natural pool. We didn't make this tank. I think it's the, the Earth's lava that makes it so hot. That's part of it, for sure, that is part of it. But this doesn't come quite close to lava. It's when water gets way down that far under that much rock. You know what, two kilometers of rock weighs? No. Lots, lots and lots. So it squishes the water and it makes the water under a lot of pressure. And that creates heat in the water. How come you can't touch the water snails? Well, the water snails are sensitive to things in our hands, like oils, or if we have bug juice, or mosquito repellent on our hands, or even hand lotion, all that stuff. If we had thousands of people visiting this site every day, and each one of them dipped their hand in the water, it would get really, really yucky. So that's why we don't let people touch the water that the snails are in. What does a snail eat? Some of the gunky stuff that you see floating on top there. What else can live in a hot spring? Well, we've got some algae that live in here. That's the gunky stuff. Yeah. And we have a special visitor today, a toad. Cool. Do you think we can go swimming now? I think we can, but before we do, do you want to go explore a cave? Yeah! Woohoo! Let's go. Let's go. Check it out. And here we are in the cave. Oh my. How do these caves form? Well, you know our spring water? It's got lots and lots of minerals in it, right? So those minerals over time leave behind rock, just like this rock that they're leaving right here. And after a while, that rock builds up and up and up and up and up and becomes really, really deep. And right here is about nine meters tall. That's really, really tall, right? After a while, the water found a little weakness in the rock and it cut underneath and it started to carve out this cave. Are there any bats in this cave? We don't usually see bats in this cave. Believe it or not, it's too warm for bats in here. So these snails have the, has the holes placed to themselves? Pretty much. Anything else, like live things, like snakes? Snakes don't come in the cave, but they live just outside. Cool. Yeah, this is the only place that we'll find snakes in the Rockies because the ground is kept warm by this hot spring water. Can we go swimming in the, swimming in the hot spring together now? You bet we can. Yay! Let's go! Woohoo! This is Emily Young swimming. So this water comes right out of the mountain, comes all the way through those cracks in the earth, and then comes right out here, and now we're sitting in it. It feels like a warm bath. Yeah? What do you think of the view? <laughs> good. Pretty good? Got a couple mountains out there? Yeah. Let's have an underwater breathing contest. Okay. Ready? One, 
two, three. How'd you do? Good. You want Murray? High five! Let's do some swimming. Yeah. Thank you so much, Lori, for exploring a hot spring with me. I had so much fun. You're welcome, Emily. Thanks for coming to Banff, Alberta.